I was just finding that I was spending a lot of time trying to get the tooling to work for us, especially as we scaled up a little bit. Yeah. And even when I did invest all that time, the experience was still, I felt lacking compared to work I've done in other ecosystems. There was more and more of a focus on trying to build faster tools. Every time I save, I have to wait for this thing to rebuild and show okay. up in my browser, right? In the JavaScript ecosystem, more tooling started to be written in not JavaScript, like in, originally in Go <laughs> and then in yeah. like Rust. And they were like, it's a good investment to build this kind of t- fundamental tooling in a really fast language to make everyone else's work faster. I was kind of left thinking, well, could we do the same thing for Python? What would it look like? Is there a reason it's not impossible? How big would the impact be? What would the trade-offs be? That was the first version of Rough. It was a very minimal linter, so it could parse your Python code and then do some basic analysis on it, like between 10 and 20 rules. It was, you know, it was relatively small, but sufficiently complete that I could draw some conclusions about what the performance would be and like what would be hard and what would be easy. If I had gone around to a bunch of people before even working on Rough, And I was like, how important to you is like the speed of your linter? I actually don't know that a lot of people would have said that's a really important problem for me. And yet huge projects that had been around for decades were adopting this like super new, like Rust-based tool. Like I was seeing like SciPy and Pandas and 